Okay, we're here today at the 2012 Orange County Vision Symposium, and with, we're with Dr. Ron Caster. Welcome, Doc. Thank you. Uh, I understand there's a new corneal cross-linking technique using a laser. How is this different from existing procedures? Well, we're using uh, the eczema laser to remove the corneal epithelium instead of using a blade to remove the epithelium. And we feel that this allows for a smoother corneal surface for the cross-linking procedure and eventually a smoother corneal surface for fitting of contact lenses. And in our initial results, we have seen improved post-operative vision in these patients compared to those where the standard removal of the epithelium is done without the laser. Hmm. Is there uh, a difference of technique used now? Are you evolving the technique or is it stabilized, if you will? It, it's evolving a little bit because uh, we tried to remove about nine millimeters of corneal epithelium and the laser will remove six and a half millimeters and then it will blend out to about nine millimeters. Everyone's very excited about the corneal cross-linking clinical trials. Uh, what do you think the future holds for this therapy? And when might it be available to patients outside the clinical trials? Outside <clears throat> the clinical trials? Yes. I, um, I think that corneal cross-linking is the most important advance in keratoconus in the last 50 or 100 years. It's very exciting, and I'm mm -hmm. thrilled to be uh, involved at the very beginning of this uh, with regard to clinical trials. The FDA has not approved uh, cross-linking yet, and so the only way to really get this done uh, in a safe manner is through a clinical trial. Uh, and the clinical trial that I'm involved with currently has an IDE, which is an investig investigational device exemption under the FDA. Uh, I was briefly involved with another trial, uh, but uh, I'm not anymore. That one is not ongoing yet. So what's your uh, progress on that trial? What, what do you see as the uh, trajectory, if you will, of the project? I think the FDA is probably going to take a couple, two to three years, uh, maybe longer, till they approve this. Uh, it does require uh, lots of money by companies to um, get the FDA to look at the data. And I, I mean, no one has a crystal ball on this, but I'm assuming it's going to be at least a few years until it does get approved by the FDA, which is, which is very unfortunate because it's being performed throughout the world, uh, South America, in Asia, Europe, of course, um, mm -hmm. Africa, and we're really uh, behind in, in regard to that. Um, there are people in uh, Europe who say, oh, you've got keratoconus, well, go over there and get your cross-linking done. I mean, it's just like standard of care, and I think mm -hmm. that's what's going to happen here in the United States very soon, too. So uh, do you see the FDA procedure being telescoped to any degree, or is that just going to happen in its own I think the inimitable FDA, fashion? I think the FDA follows their um, slow, methodical uh, uh, routine, and I don't think we're going to be able to influence them in any way. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yes. Uh, you've been involved in a number of clinical trials, and is there one right now that looks most promising to you? The one that I'm most involved with uh, is the one up in Beverly Hills, uh, and it's a clinical trial where we're comparing progressive keratoconus uh, or post-LASIK ectasia, uh, where we're doing cross-linking in one, uh, one segment of the study and in the other stu st uh, segment uh, putting in intacts. And then three months later, uh, when the vision is stabilized and improved, then doing the cross-linking and comparing those two cohorts. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've added this additional arm where we're removing the epithelium with the eczema laser and um, actually finding a somewhat improved vision, though we don't have published data on that yet. When do you think that might happen? When we get enough, enough patients with at least one year of data, six months to one year of data, we'll go ahead and publish that. Well, thank you very much for your time, Doctor. Thank you very much and for having me. And success to you in your trial. Thank you.